This Excel tutorial covers the most useful keyboard shortcuts in Microsoft Excel. And I want to start with two really common keyboard shortcuts. These are usable in almost every program, but I still think they're important and useful for you to know. The first is Control S. You hold the Control key and tap the letter S. And when you do that, it saves your spreadsheet. And so it's the equivalent of going up here and clicking the Save button or clicking File and Save. Next, we have Control. P. You hold control, you tap P. That brings up the print options in Microsoft Excel. And now you can just click the print button and print out your document. Like I said, those are pretty commonplace, but I think if you don't know them, you need to know them. Next, we have control T. And what control T does is it turns the selected cells into a table. You can see that I already have a table here on the screen. This is a list of synth pop and new wave bands and their most recently released album and also their current price on Amazon.com. And you can see it's a table. You can tell that it's a table because it's formatted in a special way. The colors alternate and things like that. You can just tell that this data is meant to go together in this table. And I can create a table like this simply by holding control and tapping T. So for example, over here on sheet number three, I'm gonna click. Here is the data that I would like to turn into a table. All I have to do is click and drag to highlight the range that I would like to turn into a table. I release the mouse and now I hold control and tap T. Excel asks, where's the data? It seems to already know, but if it happened to be wrong, I could change that. My table has headers. Yes, it does. Buyer, amount spent, date. But if it didn't have headers, I could uncheck that and just click OK. And look what it did. It automatically turned that data into a table. So control T, a really useful tool that I use quite a bit. Jumping back to sheet one, the rest of the Excel keyboard shortcuts that I'm going to show you have to do with getting around in your Excel spreadsheet. And in many cases, that is one of the hardest, most tedious parts of using Excel. I constantly have to navigate around the data in my spreadsheet. So I'll need to go up to the top, to make changes and then I need to go down to the bottom. And this is a pretty small spreadsheet to be honest. But if you had 2,000 records, if you had 5,000 or 10,000 records in your spreadsheet, imagine having to jump around from the top of your spreadsheet to the bottom and vice versa. And then also sometimes it can be hard to click and drag and select the right data. If I wanted to select this entire row, sometimes that's kind of difficult and I might be inaccurate with how I do it. Same with a column. If I wanted to select this whole column, sometimes that's hard to do. So let's take a look at some keyboard shortcuts that can make doing these tasks a lot easier and quicker. And the first example is whenever you want to go to the top left corner of your data in a spreadsheet, simply use the keyboard shortcut Control Home. So hold the Control key, tap Home, and look what it did. It took me up to the top of my data, but not only that, it actually went to the upper left corner. So that cell is actually highlighted, cell A2 in this case, because that's where the data begins. So Control plus Home is very useful. Let's look at the opposite example. A lot of times you need to get to the bottom of your data. To do that, you hold Control and tap the End key. And notice what that did. That took me to the lower right corner of my data in the spreadsheet. Now I'm gonna tap Control Home again to show you yet another way to get down to the bottom of the data. But this one is a little bit different, and that is hold Control and tap the down arrow on your keyboard. When you do that, it takes you down to the very bottom of your data, but notice that instead of being at the lower right, it just took me to the very bottom record. And because I was already in column A, it took me to A46 in this case. But let's try it again. I'm gonna go Control Home to get back up to the top. Let's say I'm in cell E2, and I hold Control and tap the down arrow. Notice what it did. It just took me to the very bottom record. It didn't move me to the left or to the right, but rather I stayed in the same column. This next keyboard shortcut doesn't have to do with moving around inside the sheet, but rather from one sheet to another. So right now, I'm in sheet one, and I have these all out of order, but that's okay. But sheet one, it's actually the third sheet listed. If I would like to go to sheet three, all I have to do is click on it. If I wanna to go to sheet two, I just click on that, and back to sheet one. 
But really, one of the main purposes of keyboard shortcuts is to keep your hands on the keyboard. Anytime you have to take your hands off the keyboard to use the mouse, or to do anything else for that matter, you are now less efficient using Excel. And so that's why we have keyboard shortcuts, to keep our hands on the keyboard so we can do the work we need to do. So instead of using the mouse to click on sheet three or sheet two, all I have to do is hold the control key and tap the page up key. And look what happened. It moved me back to this sheet. If I tap it again, control page up, it moves me back to the previous sheet before that. What about the opposite case? If you want to move to the right to the next sheet, you hold control and tap page down and then page down again and I'm back where I started. So those last few keyboard shortcuts, I think you'll find them to be pretty useful and pretty helpful in navigating around your spreadsheet and quickly getting to the top or the bottom or to a different sheet. This next keyboard shortcut is kind of fun to do and kind of interesting, but I don't use it that often to be honest with you. But what it is, is Control D. And you use Control D to copy an item down. So for example, each of these amazing synth pop or new wave bands has more than one CD listed in this spreadsheet, except for Brandon Flowers. But he has had other releases besides the amazing CD, The Desired Effect, that came out a year or two ago. So if I would like to add more entries for Brandon Flowers, I could click on that cell, copy and paste it, or I could click on it and use the autofill handle to just fill it in like that. But instead, I'm going to use Control D. And to do that, first I need to select what I want to copy, Brandon Flowers in this case, and then drag down as far as I want it to be copied. So I want it to go down to 60. Then I just hold Control, tap D. And because I'm in a table, I'm getting this warning, but don't worry about that. I just click OK. And it added Brandon Flowers several times to this spreadsheet. So like I said, Control plus D. It's kind of fun, I like to use it, and I find it to be helpful, but I don't use it that often. So now let's look at the last three keyboard shortcuts that I'm gonna recommend that everybody learn. And the last three all deal with selecting data. In Excel, you have to select data often in order to copy and paste, in order to change the font or the formatting or the alignment of the data in your spreadsheet. There's lots of examples and lots of times when you need to select data. And of course, you could do that the manual way. You could just click and drag to highlight and select the text, and that's a good way to do it. But let's look at some shortcuts. If you've clicked on your spreadsheet, you can hold Control and tap A, and it should select All. Now, if you're in a table, notice that it selects everything that's in the table, and it does not include any information that's outside the table. However, if I hold Control and tap A again, then it does select everything. So you can see that that's indeed what happened. However, in this case, I just want to select the table. So Control A selects just the table. I'll use Control C, which of course is copy. And then I'll go to, let's say, Sheet 2, and I'm going to hold Control and tap V for paste, and it pasted in that table. So Control A selects everything Unless you're inside a table, then it selects everything in the table, but nothing more. But again, you could do Control A twice to then select everything. All right, next up we have Control Space. And Control Space is for selecting an entire column. Put the cursor wherever you want it to be, hold Control, tap Space, the entire column is selected. And then you can copy paste it as needed, or change its font or alignment or whatever you need to do. Finally, we have Shift plus space. This is our first time using shift instead of control, but you hold shift, tap space, and it selects the entire row. So I hope that you found these keyboard shortcuts to be useful. If you have, please click the like button below and consider connecting with me on my social media websites like Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. And definitely do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students and watch for another video from me at least every Monday. If you're interested in learning more about any of these bands, look in the description below. And if you would like to support me in my effort to create technology tutorials, please consider contributing to me through my Patreon account that you'll see in the description below.